All right, I look hella rough, but what's up, y'all? It's Jewel Dream Doll, and welcome to my channel. Um, for those of y'all who follow me, some of y'all know, some of y'all probably don't know because I've never announced that I'm doing a YouTube channel, but you know, hey, I'm doing a YouTube channel, and I'm gonna vlog for y'all and show y'all the start and finish of my doll room. So, would y'all like to see what's behind me? I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, so this is the doll room. I'm gonna let y'all see the hole before. And then, you know, y'all see the after. Hey, good morning, you guys. I just wanna show you guys that the room is now framed out and that the guy came over yesterday and he started framing it out. It looks so cool seeing the process being done. So I really cannot wait to see how it all comes together. But this is the room framed out so far. I wish I could flip cameras, like flip the camera, but I'm recording this on my iPhone. So. Okay, you guys, so they brought the drywall in and they started reconstructing the ceiling. As you can see, I think they went to go get a little more supplies and it looks awesome so far. I can't wait to see how it looks at the end. So just a quick little room update. Um, we got the drywall done, we got the electrical done, and we got the recessed lighting done, as you can see. Um, we just gotta do the flooring, we gotta paint the walls, and we got a motherfucking room coming, okay? I can't wait for y'all to see it, I'm so excited. And yeah, I'll be back with another update. How do I flip this camera? Can I not flip this camera? I hate that. Uh. Okay guys, so we gotta finish painting the room, but the color is so pretty so far. I love it. Ugh, the lighting just changed. But we gotta finish painting the room, do the baseboards, do the flooring. We're gonna do marble floors. This is probably gonna stay white. And, you know, we got to finish painting the door and we will be in business real soon. So just a little update. What's up, guys? As you can see, we're trying to put this marble floor down. Um, this is the progress so far. We got a little shade up over there. <laughs> we patched up the pink. So we just got to put the marble floors down, um, put some shelving in, and we are finished. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you guys the final product of this room, but it's going to be amazing. Okay, guys, just a quick little update. So the floor is done. Well, we have to finish sealing it and like repaint a couple of them little spots. Um, Shelves are up. I got a lot of test stalls up here just to see how like everything goes. Like, you know, I got my vision coming to life a little bit. Um, the only thing are is these are adjustable, but I just feel like it makes more sense to have them adjusted to like this length for like just stalls to fit in. Cause I wanted the boxes to like go inside of here. But one of these is like in here, like it's, it doesn't move. <laughs> so I feel like to get the most maximum amount of space is just to do it like this and just, um, you know, have the dolls in here like this. And like smaller dolls, they fit, like my brats. Um, She-Hulk fitted. I got like my superhero collection. So we're gonna figure the showing out. I got the Barbie horrors at the bottom. 
Holiday Dolls are gonna have their own show because I collect, I have like every single year now that the rest of them are upstairs. I'm gonna hang this TV up. <laughs> Ring light. Um, we just gotta finish the closet. Closet isn't done yet. And other than that, I mean, you know, we made some progress, so I'm happy. I just can't wait for it to fully come to life. The desk is probably gonna go right there. Um, am I missing anything? I'm gonna get a new blind. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna hang some like artwork up here. Um, this is my Barbie sign. I'm probably gonna put this on my desk cause it's so small or like, you know, up here in one of the like maybe smaller displays. But yeah, this is my little mini update for you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, another quick little update. I really just wanted to show you all the Christmas tree. That is such an eyesore. Um, I really just wanted to show you all the Christmas tree that my mom put in here. Um, the room is still not done. We literally just have to finish like the flooring. And then I want to do like, um, I don't know what you call it, but like kind of like something around like the top of the, it's like trimming. And then we'll be done. We got a desk to go in the center. And we got another Billy bookcase coming and we have another glass shelf. But besides the point, I'm about to just show you all this tree real quick and continue on with this vlog. Okay, so room still under construction. The Christmas tree is so cute though. Um, I might as well show y'all <laughs> the dolls on the shelf. Um, I think I might have showed y'all this in the clips before. I don't know. But this is just some of the stuff. I'm going to redo all of this probably by the time I record again. Depending on if the room gets done. But we put the TV up too. I got a carpet. Um, so it's, it's coming along. It's coming along. Um, I don't see it being done before the year's over. It's December 6th. 18th or 19th um yeah so and my birthday is january 9th so hopefully it's done before the year's over but they dragging it y'all they dragging it real bad and i'm just ready to get in here and record and start my vlog and like start my whole you know what i'm saying like just get it popping oh just get it popping Period. But okay, this slant is even I'm weird. Okay, that's more like it. All right, see y'all later. Oh my God, <laughs> this knot is still slanted. Okay guys, so the floor is sealed. You can't really see it, but it's finally sealed all the way around. As you can see, I got my desk. So my desk is in here. Um, You see it's filled with dolls. Um yeah <laughs> we're gonna get to we're gonna fix all that um right now i'm trying to get my glass display case with the more expensive dolls like in here i have one in my room that i want to bring downstairs i think i showed you guys already but the tv's up and yeah this is the floor we're gonna probably replace the floor because the floor could have been done a lot better these are like the clicking tiles like you see how they like clicked in but some of them ain't clicking <laughs> but I got this rug from Marshalls or Burlington. I think it was Burlington or TJ Maxx, one of them. But yeah, my Mycenes, um, some of the dolls from my first collection, Barbie Extras, my Vintage Girls, Monster High. The order is going to be like something similar to this. My really expensive dolls. So you can tell when I'm vlogging this because I just got that not too long ago, probably like a month ago. But yeah, this is just my little update. Can't wait to show you guys the finished project, but I'm so in love so far. And I'm just excited to start posting in here. Okay, y'all. <laughs> the room is not finished, but this is my first time actually like setting my it's not like a tripod, but it like clips onto my table. 
So it's my actually first time like setting it up. I'm out of breath. <laughs> and I'm just trying to see like how it looks and everything. And I got a little surprise for y'all. Look what came in the mail today. I'm gonna do like a little mini, a quick mini review on these dolls. I'm not gonna take long at all just because this video is probably going to be substantially long given all the footage that I keep filming when the room is not done. <laughs> but I hope you guys like my little review and I'm just going to cut and let y'all see what's really going on. Okay, so I'm just going to show them to you like this, like still in the box, but out the box. But first impressions of this L face. Um, this is the L face, right? She is beautiful, y'all. Like, get into her. I feel like this lighting shows true to her skin tone. Um, her makeup is gorgeous. Um, the color block is nice. Ignore my nails, please, because I feel like they look raggy. But she is just a really pretty doll. Um, they did really good on the makeup. The hair texture is beautiful. It's really, really soft. Um, and the color block, I think the pink and blue is chef's kiss and her makeup matches so that is just my first impression a little quick you know you know <laughs> a little quick mini review on miss ao because she is serving i just think i don't know they executed this doll in particular um very well she's very pretty so she gets a 10 on my board i only ordered these two because these two are the only ones that caught my interest being completely honest <laughs> Um, but I'm happy to see them in person. So this one is the Carl face mold, as most of you guys know. I love her shoes the most. Um, I like her dress. Her dress is cute. Her face is really pretty as well. Um, once again, like the light intro shows true to her skin tone. Please ignore my dogs if you can hear them. <laughs> but, um, her makeup is really soft. So I like that her makeup's really soft and subtle. Um, I like the pink and blue theme on her as well. So it's kind of ironic that the two dolls that I picked out of the line both got on pink and blue. I'm going to, however, put her on a taller body, I guess a normal body. But um, she is really pretty and she is really, really cute. So I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10 too. So these two, Carl and Elle, Y'all really did y'all big one. <laughs> and they look really, really, really cute. I'm happy to have them in my collection. I cannot wait for you guys to see how I style these girls because I'm going to turn them out, okay? To say the least. But yes, shout out to Elle. Shout out to Miss Carl. And yeah, I hope you guys like that little mini review. And Let's proceed to this video. Hopefully when I come back, the room will be finished. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here, but I kind of like it. Is this something I did? <laughs> Hold on. What's up, y'all? The room is still not done. And Bree is all up in my business. Come on. Okay, y'all, this is Bree. She is a Yorkie Poo. She is my second dog. My other one is older. He's a Brussels Griffin and a Shih Tzu. And she wanted to be nosy and see what I was down here doing. Brie, you're going to introduce this new doll with me. So I got the PTMI birthday doll. She is absolutely beautiful. Let me put Brie down. She has a Lena face. Ooh, hold on. I gotta get this. Ooh, no. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Brie wants to be a part of this video so bad. So I'm gonna let her sit there. But um, this is what she looks like out of the box. Brie looking too. Okay. So, first impressions out of the box is she is beautiful. 
Her skin is like stark white. I really love it. I love her hair. I love her lip color that they chose. Sorry, I can't tell if you guys can really see or not, but I love the outfit. The boots are my favorite thing. Of course, I love realistic accessories. They could have gave us a bag, the same material, but I be understanding like budget issues and stuff like that. I'm assuming that's why I love the cross earrings. Um, I got dolls in the way. Um, I love the cross earrings. I love the little belt detail. I love this little jump jumper that she got going on. Like, yes. I just love how chic she looks. Very editorial, very fashion forward. So yeah, I'm gonna take her out the box for you guys and let you see what she's really given. <laughs> and then um, I might show you guys her rebody um, when I finally rebody her. Okay, you guys, so I took her out of the box and she is really gorgeous. Like literally all, let me see if it's gonna focus the way I need it to. I don't know, but she is super cute. The Lena face looks really good. I just love this outfit. She reminds me of, I feel like I wanna say the Olsen twins. She looks like some celebrity that I know. I can't put my finger on it, but she's eating. I cannot wait to rebody her. A little back view. She just looks so elegant, so chic. Um, yeah, I really love this. I'm not gonna lie. I miss when Mattel came out with the same face mold and they did multiple um, color face molds on one doll or face sculpt of a line. I just think it's more versatility because she would eat in every complexion, literally. And it would be even more dope if they did like, they customize like maybe even the hair based on complexion because obviously not everybody has the same hair texture. Um, everybody has different complexions, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Or maybe um, tweak the outfit tailored to different ethnicities and stuff like that. That would be so dope. But that's just me being innovative. So yeah, I hope you guys really love her as much as I do. I can't wait to post her up on the gram. Um, if this makes the video i like the edit <laughs> but okay i'll be back hey guys so majority of the room is finished so i think i'm just gonna stop right here um we have one more shelf to get and we have one more like bottom i guess like an ottoman is that an ottoman like a little bottom shelf to go under the tv and we are done so i'm gonna show you guys like basically what we finished what we all have so far um, you guys will see how everything came together from start to finish, which I'm sure y'all know by now because it's the end of the video. <laughs> so y'all definitely have seen a major, major, major transformation. So I'm going to go um, show you like the end result or the end in product because this is an ongoing product. But the end of this video is product. And after that, the next time I come back, I'm probably going to be talking about some dolls. <laughs> I'm probably going to show you all the rest of the room, you know, the little, the last little finishing touches. And then from here on out, we're just going to be vibing and dolling. So period. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Um, thank you guys who follow me on Instagram, who love and support me. Y'all don't even know how much that really be making my day because... I've only had dolls for a minute. Like since I graduated from school, things have just been horrible and dolls have really like saved my life in a sense. So this is just something I'm passionate about. This is something I love to do. Um, I'm fortunate that I got to make this room. This is literally like a dream come true for Jewel Dream Doll. So I'm ecstatic and I can't wait for y'all to just be on this doll journal journey with me. <laughs> so I'll talk to y'all soon and Sending my love to you all. Deuces. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put one more bookshelf right here. And then we're gonna put a shelf down here. And the room will be complete, y'all. It will be a finished product. So, um, 
I'm just gonna give y'all a quick little 360. This is what it looks like from where I'll be filming, sitting down, that's my little tripod thingy. Um, you know, short and sweet. I've had that for a long time. It needs to be clean. <laughs> this is just walking in the room, like what you will see. See, I got a little diorama going on right here. I'm gonna explain like how I organized everything. These are not all my dolls, by the way. All my dolls do not fit in here, so. That's why I need an extra shelf. Um, I got some stuff in the closet right now, and then I'm gonna get one little thing to go down here. All my integrities are over here. I will tell y'all that, but I'm sure y'all can figure it out by seeing like how I kind of did everything. But in the future, I'm gonna go in depth and explain like why I put stuff here and you know, et cetera. Just a cute little vlogging experience. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um i'm gonna get another chair that has like been at our house for years before i was even born <laughs> so i'm gonna get like a a proper chair and it's just gonna be a cute little vibe so i'm hoping y'all loving it just as much as i am and i cannot wait to show you all like when it's done done but i think i did good so far and with that being said, Jewel Dream Doll out. <laughs>